we were convinced that the signal that photoreceptors used was the ion calcium. And there were meetings on it, international meetings. And we were all wrong. And Wolfgang's work was a big piece of the, the core body of knowledge that is our current understanding of photoreceptor function. And whenever Wolfgang gets involved in an issue, that's the definitive statement. I mean, he, he, when it comes out, people know, wow, Wolfgang's got work on this. We know now this is the issue, situation, and so let's, let's build upon that foundation because he just doesn't do work that isn't absolutely world-class. My name is Wolfgang Beer, and I am the Rolf and Mary Tuck Professor of Ophthalmology at the Moraine Eye Center. When I started on phototransduction, there were only two molecules known. One was rhodopsin and one was calcium. So we started to elucidate the components that establish photodestruction in photoreceptors of the retina from scratch, from molecule number one to now about 30 or 35 genes involved in photodestruction. Wolfgang is one of these people who just quietly keeps doing outstanding work. Uh, he's a biochemist, classical biochemist, at a time when people are looking at a lot of other areas, and so he gets down right to the core chemical processes. He's very interested in, in what's happening in the visual processing cycle, and increasingly what happens when that cycle is abnormal or aberrant. When we started, we basically had no imagination where we would get to. So starting with sequencing DNA was one of the big inventions at the time. Starting to isolate genes and identify genes and find mutations was probably one of the most fascinating periods of my research. His contributions to science are the reason he's receiving um, this amazing award and um, all of his publications are absolutely solid, amazing, um, technical achievements, but we depend upon that type of scientific literature to move science forward. I remember my first uh, AWO uh, presentation from uh, a friend I admired very well, and this was in 1982. So at this time in 1982, I could not imagine that I would ever get one of those very highly, uh, very high uh, awards. Uh, Apocalypse. So it's quite unusual, and uh, what can I say? I'm quite amazed. <laughs> yeah, I, I was so pleased to hear that indeed he was given this honor, and uh, in my mind, it's about time. The big thing, of course, is the Moraine Eye Center and the atmosphere of working here. I'm collaborating with almost anyone in this in this building helping people, cloning for colleagues, and helping with mouse models. So it's a, a good uh, scientific atmosphere. Until we understand a process, we don't even know what it is we don't know. We don't know what's really broken until we know what works. And uh, he, he's a person who, who is getting at that core processes. To lose eyesight and to become blind, slowly developing, is a devastating problem for many people. So if we can come up with an understanding how the, how the disease develops and a method to either ameliorate the progress of the disease and finally to cure it, that would be my wish. Why does Wolfgang win this award? He works hard, he works diligently, and he's built a career of science that uh, the rest of us are, are just marvel at. He gets it right all the time.